Congress recently gave a boost to heating assistance funds, but oil prices are way up right now. New Center Maine's David Guilford spoke with people receiving and giving help and has more on Maine's outlook ahead of winter. The leaves are changing outside Fran Seely's Portland home. So here's the tank. <laughs> she heats with oil and wants to save as much as she can as winter approaches. I probably will be maybe a little more conservative about the use of heat. Um, you know, I've got plenty of sweaters <laughs> and I generally keep my house like around between 68 and 70. But when her furnace does kick on, she thinks she'll be able to weather the season. Celia is enrolled in Maine's Heating Energy Assistance Program, or HEAP. She said she would have paid $2,800 for oil this winter. Now she'll pay nearly a third of that. I'm fortunate that I don't feel the cold as much as some people my age. But for people who do or who need to keep their house warmer for whatever reason, I think it's going to be a big issue with the cost of oil. I did the calculation that it's $1.70 more than it was at this time last year. More cost and more people enrolled in HEAP to this point this year compared to last. Scott Thistle from Maine Housing explained the federal government passed an additional billion dollars in heating relief just over a week ago. Maine's portion is eight million. Thistle is grateful, but given the price of oil this year, he said they need more than that to keep up. We are only going to be able to help people with about a quarter or about a half of a tank or three quarters of a tank of oil. Um, given the the price of oil last year, we were able to do about a, a tank and a half of oil for every eligible household. We don't want to see anybody be cold over the winter. Kim Dalton is the Woolwich town manager. Her town offers its own heating assistance for residents who don't qualify for general assistance. It's entirely donation based, so the help will only go as far as people are willing to give. But it's another layer in towns that run these programs. Definitely a huge increase. Um, I think we will get more residents coming in to apply for assistance. Speaking of layers, Thistle said if you qualify for HEAP, you also qualify for help upgrading systems and weatherization. Fran Seely took advantage of those too, hoping to lock in the warmth for the winter ahead. David Guilford, New Center, Maine. In addition to the regular heating assistance programs, starting November 1st, the Energy Crisis Intervention Program opens. Any HEAP eligible households facing a heating emergency, which typically means having less than a seven day supply, can request help and receive an emergency delivery of heating fuel within 18 hours.